What's up? Average Kurt here, aka the internet chef who makes shit you can make. And today I'm making butter burgers. I'm making my own herb butter, slicing it up and putting it in the middle of a burger. It's basically a Juicy Lucy, but instead of cheese in the middle, it has a f ton of butter. Get a bucket and a mop, that's a wet ass burger. And here's everything you need to make this dish. Two sticks of room temp butter, rosemary, chives, beef, I got potatoes for a side dish, small yellow ones, garlic salt, and oregano. And make sure you got some good buns, like shitty buns can ruin a good burger. And cheese, whatever kind you want. First thing I'm gonna do is make the herb butter. Gonna start by separating the rosemary from the stems. You know, no, no stems, no seeds in my rosemary. Also gonna dice up the chives. Like, you can see the amounts there, just, just copy that. Got that room temp butter in a bowl. Very important that the butter is room temp because we're gonna have to fold in all these ingredients. If I could learn to hold that spatula spoon thingy right, maybe I could do this better. Yeah, good. that's a good grip. All right, and now I'm just gonna fold this all in until it's all mixed. As you can see, you got a giant piece of plastic wrap that I'm gonna move the butter to, and then I'm gonna roll it up into like a butter log. Why, why isn't that a thing? I should be able to buy a butter log at grocery stores. Why, why isn't butter coming a log? Does it come in a log? Let me know, I have no idea. So yeah, it's gonna form it into a butter log, put it in the fridge. I think it took like 45 minutes to an hour to like re-solidify into like firm butter. And there you go, that's the finished result. Now it's time to form the patties. Don't mind the GoPro, he's just hanging out, keeping me company. Gonna liberally season it with that garlic salt. If I had some pepper, I'd throw it in there too, but I ran out, I'm not perfect guys, you know, I make mistakes. Uh, got some 80-20 ground chuck there as well, one pound of it. Then I'm gonna slice up that herb butter to prepare it to get stuffed between two beef patties. And to make these patties, I'm gonna use my fancy burger mold thing. If you don't have a fancy burger mold thing, you know, you can still make these, it just makes it a lot easier. I put the meat down, smash it, add the butter, get some more meat, put it on top, smash it, and I got a perfectly formed patty with butter in the middle. And I'm gonna smoke these at 225 for about an hour and a half. Time to make my potatoes, and this is a really easy recipe. I take those small potatoes, I cut them into fours, Move them to a bowl and let a few spill out to add flavor. And then I'm gonna add some olive oil and salt. Give it a vigorous mix and then put it onto a baking sheet lined with aluminum foil and coat it with some oregano. And I do these in the air fryer for 20 minutes at 350. This is an easy and delicious side dish that's also kind of healthy for you, I think, maybe? Yeah, a little bit. Flip my burgers halfway through and then added that Swiss cheese about 20 minutes before I pulled them off so they got that nice smokiness on the whiteness of the cheese. It's got that color, it looks beautiful. I also melted some of that herb butter and I'm just gonna spread it all over these buns and then toast them. Time to assemble. Add the cheeseburger. Add some Average Kirk Cook's Hooters Ranch Sauce. I'll add that recipe's video below. Add the top and then I'm just gonna take a second and just look at it. Just marvel at the juices oh my god and this made for one hell of a cross section look at that burger that is the juiciest burger i have ever seen have you ever seen a juicier burger no no you haven't and here it is with the potatoes and i'm, I'm working on the backdrop i'm, I'm working on it Whew. i did it again now all that's left is to take this burger and <sighs> all into it and to properly rate this burger, I need to do a lot of analysis, so I'm gonna inhale half of it in about 30 seconds. I'm contemplating, but I think you know what I'm gonna say. This burger slaps. It slaps all over the place. It honestly is, it might be one of the best burgers I've ever had. It is, it's amazing. It's really good. I'm gonna wash down that burger with some of those delicious potatoes dipped in some of that average Kirk Cook's Hooters Ranch Sauce, which is fantastic. Hey you, did you like the shit you saw today? If so, please like and subscribe. Also, follow me on the gram and TikTok at Average Kirk Cooks. Salute to you guys for watching. I'm just gonna throw my shirt in the trash can by accident. Sit here, get fat, get happy, and get down on this butter burger. Also gonna, gonna get my shirt out of the trash.